Well, for 2021, I really wanted to get a lot more into reading. I know. Boring, right? But reading is actually really great for your brain. And it can be really fun. It can be really fun. Here's the thing. I was never much of a reader growing up, but I always, like, wanted to be a reader. You know what I mean? Because, like, the readers, they're so cool. And they're so smart. And you're just like, I want to be like you, you know? But then you, like, are like, but I'm not. Because, like, <laughs> like I would rather watch TV. But I'm getting really into reading this year. But I'm not really, like, reading fiction books. More like I read Wattpads on here, which I would say is really good for my reading. Really good for my reading. And then I'm just reading for school. Because here's the thing. In school, I never did the reading. Shh, don't. Like in middle school, in middle school, in middle school, I never did the reading. Shh, don't tell any of my teachers. They knew. <laughs> they knew. Yeah, I would just like read the spark notes or outlines or just take the shortcut. But I learned when I took the shortcut and didn't just read the book, then I ended up having to do 10 times the amount of work and getting a bad grade. It's not fun. And so I'm getting really into reading and it's been super fun. And so I'm really enjoying my textbooks and really getting into reading. And here are a couple tips of how to be better at reading. Okay. So I used to have like all these headaches when I was young. I still have headaches. And so part of the headaches was the reason why I would never want to read. So solving the headaches was a big thing for me. Because if you have headaches like me, it's like the last freaking thing you want to do is like, read a book. Also, just like make it fun, like enjoy your reading and make it like a story. Like for me, when I read textbooks, I make it like a story even to make it fun. So even if I'm literally reading a science textbook of just facts, I try to like make it like a story and be like, it's the story of photosynthesis and how photosynthesis works, how fascinating. I try to make it fascinating because it's also all about your attitude. You know what I mean? Because it's like, if you have that attitude of like, I hate reading, reading's boring, you're not going to be good at it. But if you really go in with the attitude of like, this is fun, it just changes everything. I'm reading whilst listening to you. Oh my gosh, I love it. Multitasking queen. Queen, I love it. I live for it. Super good. Keep reading. Keep getting smarter. And so I really changed my outlook. And I think that changed because I never thought I was that good of a reader or like good at reading comprehension. But I've gotten so much better at reading just because of my attitude. Because my attitude now towards reading is like, this is so fun. I'm going to understand it. I want to read it. I want to learn it. I want to get smarter because, you know, reading makes you smarter. I want to be able to remember the conversation. And it's really helped me. Happy birthday, Jillian. Happy birthday, Jillian. That's amazing that it's your birthday. I hope you have the best and most beautiful day ever because you deserve it. You deserve it. I hope all your wishes come true. Want to know what I got in the giveaway? Oh my gosh, yes, I would. I would love that. I would love that. I start getting headaches as soon as someone mentions it. Really? I'm sorry. I won't say it. I won't say anything about headaches ever again. I'll never do that. Here's another thing that I want a hobby that I want to get more into in 2020. Journaling. Um, because as you know, so basically, you saw my diary from when I was in middle school, which was... um really awkward like really awkward and really embarrassing but what many of you don't know is writing diaries has always been my song writing process so basically what I do whenever I would write a song and when I started writing songs is I would write a diary just about my life and then um I would write songs and get all of my lyrical content from my diaries and then so I would see something and think of a song like for example that's how I know better came along because I was writing this like really embarrassing like diary entry just about how like this guy was like doing me wrong and talking to like 10 other girls and I was very upset about it because how dare he but I wrote this diary entry and in it I said does he think I'm stupid I know better than that 
And then I was like writing a song. I was like, I don't know what song I want to write. I don't know what song I want to write. I know I want to like write a song about him, but I don't know what to say. And then I went to the diary. I read the diary and I saw I know better than that. And I was like, I know better. I know better. Yeah, I do know better. And then I was like, I know better. That would be a cool song. And so then I ended up writing the song. So that really was my songwriting process. And it's, I think I've gotten all my best songs that way. But then I started getting really worried about writing diaries because I kind of felt like people would read them. And, you know, in diaries, you feel like, oh, can people read my diaries? I don't want anybody to read them because they would get so personal. And I was like, what if I left this at school and everybody read it? So then I stopped diarying and stopped journaling. But I really want to get back into it again because I feel like it's a really great way, number one, to let your feelings out and it's therapeutic. And number two, I think I've gotten all my best songs and we want to write the best songs in 2021, like the best songs ever. We want these songs to be better than all of the other songs. You know, I always want my songs to be better. You know, you want to keep improving. You want all the songs to get better because you want to improve. Here's another thing, upper body strength because I have no muscles, literally. I can't, I tried to, so today, I tried to, oh my gosh, I tried to lift weights today. It's gonna be a journey. It's gonna be a journey because yeah, they, they really hurt. Basically, I haven't lifted weights in like years. But I decided to lift weights today. I, and I, I I was a little too ambitious. I went with five pound weights. I lifted them for about two minutes and a half. I made a video of it and I'm posting it um, later on YouTube. So I hope you enjoy it. But um, you see, I literally, like, it's insane. You see, in the beginning, like, my face is white. I'm pale. At the end, just from doing a couple five pound weight exercises, when I go up to the camera at the end, my face is red. My face is red for doing five pound weights. It's embarrassing. And so I really want to get strong this year. But here's a tutorial of how I will be getting strength. I'm going to start slow and steady. I'm just going to be incorporating weights every single day, just a little bit, just a little bit. I think five pounds was a little bit too much, so I'm going to go back down to three, and I'm just going to do five to ten minutes every day with the three-pound weights, and then once I feel comfortable and good with the three-pound weights, I'm going to go up to five. I don't think I'm going to go any heavier than five because that sounds terrible, but just five to ten minutes is what I'm going for, and before you know it, we're going to be strong and be able to like actually carry things, so it's going to be really really fun. Make sure to eat enough protein so you could see progress. Oh my gosh, you're a genius. You're so smart. Yes, totally. Protein's everything. Totally. Protein is like really good if you have no muscle. I need it a lot. I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying protein. Um, First day of Lent. Yes, I know. It is so exciting. It is so exciting. I already failed. I already failed, but I'm not going to fail again, and God forgives. I'm sorry, but I, yeah, I already did fail, but we're, you know what? Like you're always a work in progress. You're never going to be perfect. All you can do is try your best. So I'm just going to keep trying. Yeah, I'm going to keep trying, but I'm not going to fail again. I didn't fail at all my things. I only failed at like a few of them and I gave up five things. So that's why. Oh, I love you too, Ab. Abdur, sorry, Abdur Malik. I love you too. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day because you deserve it. Here's another thing that I want to learn how to do in 2021: drive a car. Drive a car. Drive a car. Yes. Oh, ow! Shoot, what am I doing? I'm very nervous about it, but I'm trying to learn how to drive a car. My driving journey has been quite a journey because I'm driving's hard. It's very hard. 
but we're going to do it this year. We're going to do it this year. And I've been watching a lot of tutorials on driving. Um, and I learned this great tip for parking, because if you're learning how to drive like me, you know that parking is the worst part. It's the worst. Like it's, it's terrible. It's t awful. Like it's, why do you have to park a freaking car? I don't want to park a car. But anyways, I learned this great tip. So here's the spot that you want to get into. Here's the spot. And then um, you obviously are in your car. And then when you look at this side of the car, and this is the spot you want to get into, you, yeah, I don't know how, how, let's do this is the spot. This is the car. Oh, the ring's the car. The ring's the car. So, and this is the spot. So you go forward. And then you look and then you get the rear view mirror and you line it up with the line, with the line furthest from the spot you want to get into. And then you go in and then your alignment is perfect. So you go out first and you align it and you align the rear view mirror with the outside parts of the other spot and then go in. And then you center yourself. So then you are off. So then you'll get in the spot and you won't hit any of the cars next to you because <laughs> we don't want to do that. We do not want to do that. No, we don't want to hit any, any cars. So that's a parking tip for you that, I, that has helped me a lot. I've been planning what to do when I leave school for the past couple weeks. Oh, that's exciting. And I saw how you said you're applying to college today. That is huge. That is so, so huge. Rear view mirror or side mirror? Oh, oh, the side mirror is different than the rear view mirror. My bad. My bad. I'm sorry. I, I don't know anything about cars. I don't know. The side mirror. Yes, the side mirror. You get the side mirror with the lines. That probably made no sense. I'm sorry. Also, another big driving tip. Please, please, please follow the speed limit. The speed limit is not a suggestion. It's a limit. And please, and even go three under. Although I have like had issues where apparently I drive too slow. So <laughs> people are just judgmental. So they just don't like somebody who actually follows the rules and doesn't speed. So, whatever. Whatever. Um, when you made the driving video, was someone with experience sitting with you? Of course, I can't. Well, I, I don't have a license, so I can't drive a car without somebody else in it. Well, technically, I'm not supposed to drive a, a car at all, so shh, don't tell anybody. Also, the thumbnail of that video was hilarious. That's my favorite thumbnail that I made. Honestly, like the really funny thumbnails are my favorite. My two favorite thumbnails that I made, the driving thumbnail is my favorite. And then the A Star is Born medley where I put my face onto Lady Gaga's body with Bradley Cooper. That's my fave. See what I did there. <laughs> See what I did there. I got accepted into three colleges. Oh my gosh! You deserve all the applause. That is amazing. That is like so freaking amazing. That's iconic. That's like genius level. That's amazing. Congratulations. You deserve all the congratulations ever. Just ever. Oh, here's another hobby that I'll be doing in 2021. Singing. Because... I'm a singer, so I'm going to be doing lots of singing. And I'm also going to be trying to get better at singing as well, so I will be doing vocal exercises every single day so I can develop my voice and make it stronger because, yes, you always want to get better. You always want to get better at singing. And today on YouTube, I will be uploading a vocal exercise video for Tutorial Thursday. And because I've been asked... I've been asked to do a vocal exercise video for like two years now, but I never did it because I thought like, I sound really bad when I do vocal exercises and it's probably boring and nobody wants to hear them, but I thought I would do it for tutorial Thursday. So that way, if you want to be a singer and you want to like 
do some vocal exercises or don't know what vocal exercises to do, you could do vocal exercises with me in the video. So it'll be very fun. That'll be coming out later today. I'm studying paramedic science. What? That's amazing. That's legit amazing. I can't do science at all. So like I have so much respect for you. Science is my worst subject, sadly. Sadly, but that's amazing. I'm very happy for you that you found like something that you like to do and enjoy. That's so impressive and amazing. I love it. Congratulations. Another thing that we will be doing in 2021 is interviewing. I've been interviewing a lot of people lately and I'm going to be interviewing even more people and it's really fun. And I'm going to try to get my interview skills better and get the juice out of them because I feel like if you want to be a good interviewer you know like you have to make the interviewee feel comfortable and confident and like they want to share things with you but you don't want to be too intense it's balance you know um math is my worst subject oh girl I feel you I think it's all our worst subjects to be honest it's my worst subject too my best subject is English, uh, but yeah, but math, yeah, math is something else. I don't know. Geometry is what stinks. Like, I don't mind algebra that much, but geometry just, uh, when they're like at the square area and they just have all these shapes, I'm like, why do I need to know this? Like, why do I need to know the square area of a triangle? Like, please tell me when I'm going to use that. Or a volume of a cube. Like, when in my life do I need to know what the volume of a cube is? Once they answer that question, then I'll be all for learning it. But nobody has answered that question for me. So, yeah. Geometry is just useless. Exactly. Yeah, I hate geometry. I don't get it. Like, I just, it's so annoying. Ugh. Whatever. 